quiet, so secure, Asians. Every other group's got a brag and boast. Every group's got a slogan. Black people, I'm black and I'm proud. White people, white power. Hispanics, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Not an Asian. Asian just head down, grades up. That's it. <laughs> Angel the bet. You never hear about Asian crime. I told an abortion joke recently, and a woman approached me. She was like, hey, that's very insensitive. I've had an abortion. You shouldn't tell jokes like that. I was like, whoa, hey, sorry. I just told a joke. I think what you did was much worse. <laughs> clear you're a high-functioning alcoholic. I was like, wow, how do you know I was all so high? <laughs> I, an old lady approached me once, she goes, ooh, I'm gonna kidnap you. I was like, wow, I could never say that to a woman. <laughs> I say that to a lady, she calls the police. I would be curious to know what a woman could say that would offend me. Like, all right, I'm gonna take you home, drug you, take advantage of you, and film it. I'd be like, all right, well, at least let me pay for the Uber. <laughs> I, uh, single guy, back on the scene. Uh, hey, all right, prove it. Um, Can't call us, ladies. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. You know, start yelling stuff at us that, that we don't want to hear. Stuff that would scare a guy. You know, you, you walk past a group of girls at night. One of them's like, hey, I'll tell you I love you on the first date. You're like, holy hell. That is terrifying. Yeah, get us back, you know. Big fan of the gals, uh, which is weird, because when I was a kid, I hated girls. When I was like six years old, I thought girls were gross, thought they were dumb. And you know, you're allowed to hate girls as a kid. That's really the only group a kid's allowed to hate. Because if I was a six-year-old that hated Puerto Ricans, <laughs> that would be weird. You know, if I was like, hey, mom, I hate Puerto Ricans, she would never say... Oh, you'll like them one day. Everybody's worked up on something. Oh, uh, these there's Muslims on airplanes. Well, I'd rather a Muslim on a plane than a baby. <laughs> Never had a Muslim kick the back of my seat and piss in the aisle. <laughs> She's probably fifty something. Really? Fifty three. And so then what happens? So I uh, she brings me and two guys up. My other two friends went and got drinks or something. And uh, I remember she opens the door to her hotel room. The door swings open. There's an old man with a white beard and a Harley Davidson hat and a leather jacket just sitting, staring at the door. And I was like, oh, we're, we're going to die. Yeah, yeah this, this guy definitely has a gun mouth. that's yeah. loaded. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He had, I'm, I guarantee you he had a gun on I'm him. sure. He had boots on. He had a knife he probably on had, Yeah, I was going to say, he was probably packed all oh, up yeah. down. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. This guy came out of like some crazy like Nashville or something. This guy was like a biker guy. So... He goes, which one is it? And she points to me. And he goes, all right, you two, let's go have some beers on the balcony. And, you know, now we're kind of like, what And the your hell? buddies now got to go outside and drink with this dude? Yeah, but, you know, they're cool with it because they just want the booze. Yeah. You know, so they're like, ah, fuck it, let's see what happens. That's how it was, but we were feral. We would just did shit, whim, no, no plans. And, uh, yeah, so I've told this story many times, but she just sat on the bed. She goes, how do you want to do this? And I go, well, <laughs> trying to act cool. I'm like, I'll take a blowjob first. And she goes, I don't give blowjobs. And I said, you fuck kids off the street?